Hello today. This is sort of going to be about a rant about Microsoft. They're bringing out a new operating system. Well, when I say new, it's no difference from Windows 10 really. And it's called Windows 10 S. No one knows what the S stands for, but I've got a few words in mind what the S can stand for and it isn't going to be pleasant um, so basically they're um, going to be bringing out this um, new operating system and it's going to be competing against the Chromebook by Google um, but this is where Microsoft has a bit of a cheek well, I've always had a bit of a cheek, but this is where they get even more cheekier. They'll be coming, um, obviously, their version with the, of their um, rival of the Chromebook. But, you can only install Microsoft apps on it. Um, you have to get them from the App Store, from Microsoft. You cannot install any other software on it not even games so this is where I think Microsoft gets the lowest if you want to install additional software non Microsoft stuff you have to give them maybe an extra I think it's an extra $50 or something like that and you get a full version of Windows like a full Windows of Windows 10 like we get now what is the fucking point in that why can't they just install normal microsoft windows 10 on the fucking thing itself that is a bit of a fucking piss take if you ask me i mean let's face it windows 10 isn't that great of an operating system a lot of people will probably disagree with that, but I think well, it's not it's not that great. It went downhill from Windows 7. That was probably the best operating system by Microsoft I've ever used. When Windows 8 came out, nosedive. That was shit. What a shitty operating system that was and 8.1 by bringing back the start button and it was shit ah, fuck off then they brought out windows 10 and it was for free for a year it was free for a year i wonder why it was free for a year because they know they fucked up with windows 8 or because it's a new window a new operating system but they couldn't be bothered to test it so what do they do they let everyone else test it. You know, getting feedback from all the problems on what it should do, what it shouldn't do. So they save a bit of money in their own organisation. Yeah, we'll test it. Well, we'll give it for you to free, you know, you tell us all the problems and what improvements, what needs to be put in. Yeah, you do you do all the work for us. Getting Microsoft to do everybody you know, the the public to do their work for them. Yeah. Saves them fucking money, doesn't it? Multi billionaires, fucking Bill Gates is a multi billionaire. Ah, he still wants to save a few quid here and there. I'll say I get a few quid, a few million quid. <laughs> um, yeah, fuck off. Um, so, yeah, basically, after a year, they got, got it perfected. Well, I don't think it's perfect, I think it's, it ain't that great of an operating system still now. After all these updates and shit it's still not that great <laughs> i don't think much of it to be honest i'm trying to hold off as much as i can i'm still with this computer right here i'm still running windows 7. okay you don't get all the um, updates for it anymore but get this i've heard something else if you got a new like one of the latest processors like the the i7 Kobe Lake or whatever it's called or the Ryzen I buy AMD if you've got Windows 7 or 8.1 or whatever you will not 
get all the latest updates anymore. Sand. There's another version of Windows 7 coming out, apparently. It's called Windows 7 S. And that S stands for um, support. And you've got to pay Microsoft once again for this. Fucking cheek. You've just bought Windows 7. All right, it's, it's almost 10 years old, Windows 7, but it's not the fucking point. Why should you have to pay for something you've already got, again, if you want to keep it? So you can get the latest updates with your new um, hardware. Why can't they just carry on giving updates with the previous version of Windows 7 anyway? They can do that. They're stopping it for a reason, you know, because they want everyone to upgrade to Windows 10. In my case, it'll be downgrading to Windows 10. Because I think Windows 7 is a far superior version of Windows to Windows 10. People say, no, it's not. Windows 10 is the best. No, it ain't. It's fucking shit. It ain't shit. I've used worse, i.e. Windows 8 was the worst I've ever used. I didn't even stay with it. I just, fuck this. I'm, I'm getting rid of this off my computer. It's shit. Um, 10, I've got it on a couple of my machines. Because um, I, well, as I say, I'm trying to get used to it. Because probably one day I'm going to have to upgrade to Windows 10 on this computer. Um, don't want to. Because I've tried Windows 10 on this computer and a lot of my software had problems. That's the reason why, and I just don't like Windows 10 that much anyway. Yes, you, people say, yeah, but you've got the latest NVIDIA card, which, oh yes, I've got the 1080. Um, you'll get all the latest support for Windows 10 for it. Yeah. So you've got all the companies like NVIDIA, Intel, um, AMD, supporting Windows 10. Not giving a fuck about anything else now, by the looks of it. You do get updates, yes. But it looks like everything's yeah, just going towards Windows 10. Well, I don't mind going to Windows 10. Just make it fucking better. Make it like Windows 7. Uh, it was just so easy to use. It's just so nice to use. I can create custom folders. I can do this. I can do that. I'm so used to it. Windows 10 is just, to me, that's gone backwards. Windows 10 is backwards. Um... I'd rather use Windows XP than Windows 10. I'd rather use Windows 98 than Windows 10. Obviously I can't. <laughs> um, nothing supported these days, but you know, I had a, a lot more, you know, much better success with it, you know. I had a few problems here and there with all the, obviously when you upgrade to another um, operating system, you're always gonna have problems at the start. Of course you do, but Windows 10, I've always had problems. As I say, I've not installed it, but I've got other computers where I've got Windows 10 on. And I do install the same software at times just to test it. And I've had problems. So why the fuck should I go to Windows 10 if I'm going to have problems with it? And what Microsoft's doing with this S shit, yes, that's what it stands for, shit, is a fucking rip-off. So basically, you're going to start installing Windows 10 S on all the later computers, well, maybe the laptops, they're rival to the Chrome. But, no, 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 you can't install additional software. No, 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 you can't do that. You have to use Microsoft Edge as your default browser because you can't install any other web browsers, not even Google Chrome, nothing. You can't install anything unless it's a Microsoft product so I don't know how that goes about with additional hardware just say you bought a, um, you got this new um, whatever it's going to be called the light of the rival to the Chrome you just bought yourself just say a new USB sound card it's obviously not a Microsoft product it might be a creative product it might be Asus it might be anything else can you install it that's something I do not know could can you install drivers for it or no, does it have to be a Microsoft product? That is that is just so fucking low by Microsoft. Fucking low. That's just way out of order. Um, 
bullshit. It's just bullshit, basically. No need for that. They're fucking multi-billionaires, trillionaires. And they go and do something stupid like that. Yes, there's an alternative. And that's called Linux. But, that's an old... I've never used Linux. And I think people are going to start going that way. If Microsoft's going to be fucking arsey like this. Nah, no need for that. You know, I'll hold out on Windows 7 as long as I can. Nothing wrong with it. Nothing wrong with it whatsoever. It, to me, it was, it, it still is the best operating system. Um, Windows 10 is no, nothing near it. Not even close to it. Um, as I say, people are going to disagree and say, yes, Microsoft 10's one that is the best. Well, if you say so, we're all entitled to our own opinions. You know, these are probably fanboys of fucking Microsoft. Fucking, yeah. The fucking, every, probably every operating system Microsoft have, have produced, they'll probably say, yeah, it's fantastic. Oh, it's better than the last one. Oh, it's better than the last one. No, it fucking isn't. If it's that great, how come so many people in the world not switching to it why are they still on windows 7 a lot of computers are still on windows 7 why haven't they upgraded to windows 10 or in my case i think it's a downgrade it's nothing like it it looks it looks worse than windows 7 actually i think windows 7 looks you know it's presentable it looks pre pretty presentable Windows 10 just looks older. <laughs> it looks older than Windows 10. Windows 10 looks older than Windows 7. It just, just don't look. It looks all right. It ain't, don't look great. And some of the things that easy, what's easy with Windows 7, they've taken all that easy stuff out and made it a little bit more complicated. Is that going forwards? No, it's not. It's going fucking backwards. Fuck off, Microsoft. You're just getting worse. Get your fucking act together. You fucking charge us enough for your fucking shitty operating systems. Fucking get your act together and sort it out. Fucking wankers. Anyway, I'm going to end this now. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time, and goodbye.